Incendiary allegations made today in the race to be Maryland's next governor. Republican Larry Hogan accused Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown of awarding contracts to those who donated to Democrats. And that is our big story tonight, new at six. Republican Larry Hogan is accusing Democrat Anthony Brown of awarding massive no-bid state contracts to companies that made large donations to the National Democratic Governors Association. 11 News IT reporter David Collins has been following developments. He joins us now live from the studio and has the very latest. David? Rod, Republican candidate Larry Hogan is seeking a federal and state probe into those allegations. He's zeroing in on the timing of the campaign contributions and the awarding of contracts, as you mentioned, associated with the state's health exchange website. Good afternoon. Republican Larry Hogan fired a political bombshell into the race for Maryland governor. He alleges the O'Malley Brown administration awarded no bid contracts Total health coverage indeed. for the state's health exchange website to companies that donated large sums of money to the National Democratic Governors Association. He says it happened during the time that Governor O'Malley was chairman and then finance director. In numerous cases, Maryland state contractors made large donations. To the DGA just before or immediately after the Anthony Brown led Maryland Health Benefit Exchange awarded large contracts to these firms or their subsidiaries. Hogan questions whether some of these donations are now being funneled into the Brown campaign for governor to pay for attack ads against him. Maryland's Health Benefit Exchange is already the subject of a federal probe. We have sent formal requests to the U.S. Attorney the Maryland Attorney General and the Maryland State Prosecutor to immediately conduct investigations to determine whether federal and state laws have been broken. The Brown campaign fired back, stating in part there was zero truth to this Republican fairy tale when Hogan said it a year ago, and it is still false. Voters deserve for Hogan to own up to his lifelong conservative Republican agenda and stop these baseless character assassination attempts. End quote. The evidence of unethical and potentially illegal activity is clear, convincing, and overwhelming. Hogan says his change Maryland group raised the issue before, but it didn't lead to an investigation. Back in February, the 11 News I team's Jane Miller exposed campaign contributions from several health exchange contractors made directly to O'Malley and Brown's account. For example, according to campaign finance reports, Maximus and key executives donated more than $14,000 to O'Malley's federal and state accounts since 2006, and they donated $2,500 to the Brown campaign back in January. The Maryland State Democratic Party, stationed outside Hogan headquarters, handed out flyers showing that the same companies who contributed to the DGA provided virtually equal amounts to the Republican Governors Association. But Hogan's criticism of how health exchange contracts were awarded has long been a concern of State Controller Peter Francho. Stand up in the light of day, tell us exactly uh, who they're hiring and what they're paying them and what the uh, product expected is, and we can help them because of our experience. When the issue was raised back in February, both the governor and lieutenant governor's office said there's no connection between the donations and state business. Hogan hopes the investigation will be completed by Election Day. David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.